Hi, my name's Eric, and I'm the DIY Dad, and this is Bean, this is Barry, and today we're going to make blow horns. Toot toot! <laughs> Not a crafty bone in this body. Now that Christmas is over, and you've just cleaned up from your Christmas party, it's time to get ready for the New Year's party. So today, we're going to make New Year's Eve blow horns. Are you guys excited? Yeah! This craft, super simple. Again, you know me, I like them simple, but I have a tendency to make them Hard. This one's really easy. You only need a few ingredients. You need a straw, you're going to need tape, construction paper, scissors, and crayons. Those are kids crayons. Yeah, those are definitely not adult crowns, are they? So the first step of what you want to do is take your straw and you're going to make the toot toot part of your straw. I only read over the directions once, so let's hope that we get this right. What you want to do is flatten the straw out, and I'm just going to use the scissors here. Or else we cut something. See, the thing is, this straw is not... It's not going flat. Once you've got it pretty flat, what you want to do is take the tip of your straw and you're going to cut two snips on either side to make it like an arrow. Now let's get berries flat. Oh, how you doing there, girl? Is that pretty flat? Oh. Oh, you're just going to bite it? Yeah. Yeah, that's old school, man. That's the way to go. Do you want to try the cuts? Uh -huh. Go ahead, give it a cut. So now that you have your toot toot tutor, the next step that you want to do is take your construction paper and you're going to roll it into a cone. I know how to do this. I think you just go diagonals kind of. Why is this not going into a cone? I think if we just go diagonals to diagonals. Okay, here's what you have to do. You have to kind of trick your paper. You kind of have to roll it a little bit, but only roll the bottom a little bit. <laughs> oh, I almost had it. Having a little bit of DIY dad technical difficulties here. Folding a cone. Okay, that's as close as cone we're gonna get. Yeah, pass some tape, dude. Hurry. Once you've got your paper into a cone, you quickly wanna grab some tape, you guys, because these cones are crazy. Cone crazy! Dad had to do that. Look like a <laughs> How did I make it into a cone? Yeah. Super easy. You probably don't want that. You want it a little bit tighter. Start like with a really small roll. Whoa! Careful! Careful! Oh jeez. Rolling of the cone is probably the hardest step in this thing. Yeah, that's plenty of tape. Good reinforcements there. Well, mine does not look like gonna... a cone, but it's fine. Once you have your perfectly shaped cones, now it's time to decorate these horns and make them super festive, right? We're ringing in the new year. Let's make them look good. You can use crayons to color on the outside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some fringe going. Be very gentle. You don't want to compress your cone. So be very gentle when you're drawing on your cone, okay? I'm suddenly realizing that we probably should have drawn on the paper before we made the cones. Whoops, okay, it's okay. We're rolling with it. We're rolling with the punches here on DIY Dad. So we're just gonna decorate after the fact. No big deal. He don't wanna ride on the tape because it's really not good to ride on. Yeah. That was really creepy on my on my upside down cone. <laughs> I'm going along to my old man who likes fringes. Did you just say your old man likes fringe? I like to keep my outside decorations real simple. What does HNY stand for? Happy New Year. Happy be New Year, people. Yeah. We're just using crayons right now, but you can use paint, glitter glue, puffy paint. Would puffy paint be good for this? Maybe not. Maybe puffy paint's more of a clothing thing. But you can use whatever you want. Stickers, whatever. Really jazz these horns up to make them super fun. Barry, would you like some fringe? How cool is this fringe? Would you like some fringe? Once you guys are done decorating the outside of your horn, now it's time to attach the blower piece. So you want to take the blower part with the little arrow and stick it inside, and then make sure you leave a little bit outside so that you can actually blow on it and make it a horn. And then you're just going to tape it around. All right, once you have your blowers taped in, now it is time to party. You guys ready for the big reveal? One, two, three. <laughs> what happened, guys? What happened to our blowers? I want to guess that what happened was that I didn't make the straws flat enough. Or maybe I just did it completely wrong. It doesn't matter. We had a ton of fun, right? Yeah, we can just make our own noise. Okay, you ready? Nailed it. Happy New Year! We had a ton of fun making these New Year's Eve celebration blow horns. If you guys followed along, please leave us a comment and let us know how yours turned out. Hopefully yours are making noise as ours kind of didn't. As always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Baby League and come back next Friday for another awesome craft here on DIY Dad. Bye! I'm pretty sure this craft died. Can we have a moment of silence?
Ah, ah.